Uh, one of the fights that's been getting a lot of betting handle here, the, the feature on, on the, the prelim card, Yir Latifi against Tyson Pedro, and this line completely flip-flopped. If you looked at the offshore market and looked at our book as well, uh, the line opened minus 140 Latifi, and for good reason. His resume's uh, fantastic. Latifi now 3-1 and one in his last four fights in the UFC. He has eight fights in the UFC under his belt, has a power puncher, a great wrestling uh, we've seen him in there with some big names, including Gegard Mousasi, Jan Blakowicz. Uh, and on the other side, we have sort of an unknown in Tyson Pedro, 26 years old, 6-0, and 2-0 and in the UFC, all six wins coming by finish. His two wins in the UFC against Khalil Roundtree and Paul Craig, um, you know, not really, they're both very lower level guys. Um, but at 6-0 and and six finishes at only 26 years old, this guy's worth you know, keeping an eye on. But at this point, this feels like a really big jump up in class. And the fact that at, you know, at minus 140, I wasn't really interested in betting on year Latifi. It seemed like, yeah, he was the deserved favorite. And let's see what this young kid can do. But now that this line has flip-flopped to Tyson Pedro minus 140, I'm actually very interested in betting year Latifi in this fight. Here's a really great stat for this fight. year Latifi, 0-3 against opponents who were ranked at the time when he fought him in the UFC, but 5-0 and against unranked opponents when he fights him in the UFC. This is a guy who gets the job done when he's supposed to get the job done. And this is a spot on paper, at least, where it feels like Latifi, the experienced guy, the guy that's been in there with the ranked opponents, is supposed to get the job done. But the matchup, again, is stylistically a little bit strange. So you have a really big, tall, strong, light heavyweight in Tyson Pedro um, against a really short, stocky, you know, a gargantuanly built here, Latifi. So it'll be interesting for me to see if can Tyson Pedro use that range? Because if it goes to the clinch in the wrestling, Yair Latifi's really strong. If he gets on top of you, it's tough to get him off. And if he gets inside that range, he has massive power in both hands and can knock you out. So I think it's an interesting fight. It's one that I'm going to bet, especially now that Yair Latifi is an underdog. If you can get Latifi at plus 130, five or better I certainly recommend making a play on them uh, and the total in this fight is also seen I mean the total and the line movement in this fight would both indicate to you that everyone believes Tyson Pedro is going to win this fight by knockout but I'm not quite sure that's the case don't be surprised if Gary Latifi hangs around for a little bit uh, and, and doesn't, so I wouldn't make a play on the under here. I wouldn't be surprised at plus money if Latifi can hang around a little bit. And I actually love him to win this fight at plus money. This is a play on fight for me here.